Hi friends, welcome. So far we have seen by using various AI tools. So in all our AI tools, we have uh, integrated a API key and we have also compared the API key with a hotel restaurant waiter. So in that way, how the API keys work, we all you have discussed. But one question came is how to get a API key. To continue on this, we will first learn how to get a Gemini API key and use it in our system. Log in to your Google account and search for Google AI Studio. So the, you will land here and in the left side you can see get API key link and that you just click that and you will land in a page here. You will get a right top, you will get at the link and all the API keys will be listed here. Create API key. Now you can directly give a name or if you don't have a project, select a new project. This is the cloud project what Google expect from you. So then give the project name, create a project by clicking by giving a name to your project, then come back, then create the name of your key here, this key, then create the key. So keys will be listed and you can just click this and copy the key value. You have copied the key, so now you can paste it anywhere and start using it. But how to use this? What precaution you will take for to protect these keys? So it is your own personal key. So you have to pay based on the your uses. So how you will manage this key? We'll see that. Keep the API key in a common place. So multiple pages can access this particular API key. So uh, you can easily also change the API key. Say you have hundred of pages. Now every page need not have the API key. It can just connect to the API key and take the API key from there. So you once you want to replace the API key, you should do that frequently. You can easily replace it at one place. So everywhere it will be available. So main point is keep it safely, common place. So you can easily access it so and you can update it easily also and don't expose it. Now how you will do it in your platform? That is what we have already discussed. Keep it in a Cola platform if you are working. Keep it in a vault. So the, what is the API key? How you will keep it? That we have already discussed. The link is there in the description. And if you are using a Python environment in a say in your desktop, then use the environment variable that also we have discussed. And even if you are using PHP and all, keep a separate settings file. So it, you that file you need not distribute to the others or remove it. So while using user can just take his own API key and place it in their setting file and start working. That's all friends. Hope you have got an idea how to take the Gemini API key and start using it. We'll also further continue that uh, other uh, uh, chart uh, tools if you are using say OpenAI and all how to get that API key and use it. We'll also discuss in future and moreover this integration of this API key while discussing about the tools we have already discussed. I will leave the dis uh, uh, the links in the description below so you can easily follow them and if you have any idea doubt suggestion questions use the comment section below to post it and my request is please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add tutorial and we are frequently adding that also please share this with your friends and thank you for watching